you learned to speak French to meet boys, well, is that right? Yes, I did, yes. <laughs> there, there were some very... It seems unlikely for South End <laughs> that you would meet boys. Well, I know, it was very... These sad, wonderful Parisian students would come. They obviously were looked on the map, you know, and they saw this seaside resort very close to London, and they thought, Saint-Tropez. <laughs> you know, only 40 miles away from, from London, you know. It's like Paris, Saint-Tropez, that's obviously what it's like. Because they arrive and it's South End on Sea. You know? <laughs> Which is lovely. <laughs> Which is lovely. <laughs> it, you know, it's not, it's not Saint-Tropez. It's not <laughs> so, but there was always this coterie of French students who'd come to, to learn uh, English. And, and I was a complete Francophile. You know, I just thought everything French was just so cool and smart and elegant and everything. And uh, so I, I was desperate to get a French boyfriend. But you did. And I did, Jean-Louis, who I still know. <laughs> I love you say, you say Jean-Louis as if we know him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I, you know, thanks to the internet, brilliantly, the brilliant, brilliant, wonderful internet, very recently, I thought, I wonder where Jean-Louis is. I if I'll, I'll ever find him. I Googled him, bang! He came up immediately. I sent him an email, and, like, within a... Like, 24 hours, I was back in touch with him. It was amazing. And uh, Jean-Louis... This is, like, 40 years later. And Jean-Louis figured out that that first girlfriend was now Oscar-winning actress Helen Mirren. Yes, he had. Had he? Yes, he had. Yeah, yeah, yes, your husband's knew. cool with you just Googling your ex-boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> your oh, saucy you. French yeah. ex-boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> well, and he wasn't very saucy, no. He was very, very well-behaved and Catholic and... No, not... He didn't last the course. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> because, Emily, you're fluent in the French as well, aren't you? Absolutely not. Oh, I thought you were fluent no, in French. No, I'm not fluent. I mean, I did it at school. I did A-level French, but I'd since gone out the window. But I, I get really nervous speaking French. And I actually used to have a, a stutter when I was a kid. And it's still the way that, that I still stutter when I have to speak French. It comes out when you're yeah, speaking French. Yeah, it comes French, out when I try to speak French. <laughs> yeah. How weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, no. let's not... <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the King's speech. <laughs> very authentic portrayal. Yeah. That yeah, was very, me. Very I was yeah, Colin Firth. But, but in French. <laughs> but in French, yeah. We went to Paris for New Year once and... And, you know, my now husband and our two friends were like, go on, find us a taxi, cos we need to get to this place. I said, oh, God, please don't make me, please don't make me. And I hadn't had the guts to tell them, actually. I do still stutter. And they were like, go on, please. And so I went to the guy at the front desk. I was like, um, I could say everything apart from the word taxi, apparently. And so I went, um, est-ce que je peux avoir un... <laughs> and you went, taxi? And I went, yes! And he went, taxi. He's Simon English, Simon French. <laughs> Thank <laughs>